Music is a very emotional experience for all of us, right? We listen to different types of songs for different moods. When we are happy, when we are sad, when we are angry. Some songs remind us of a particular person. Some songs take us back to our childhood days. So every song that we hear, it has some emotional impact on us. Even before we go into the notes or the raga of the song or any of that, the first thing that hits us is the emotion, right? So if you want to become a really good singer and a really good performer, then you should have the ability to express emotions through your voice, through your singing. It is not enough if you are just technically very perfect. Let's say you are singing all the notes perfectly, your vocal technique is absolutely amazing, everything you're doing correctly, but that is not enough, right? Because music is a performing art. You are not the only member involved in this. There is also an audience that you're singing to. And the audience is not here to analyze all the technical stuff in your music, right? The audience is just here to enjoy the music. They want to feel connected with the music. They want to feel certain emotions. They want to forget their daily stress, right? So as a performer, beyond all your technical expertise, you should be able to add that layer of emotion or expression to your music. Only then you will actually reach the audience. So let's talk a little more about this in today's video and I'll also give you some simple tips by which you can start observing this when you're listening to music and also incorporating it when you sing. Now usually a song has two components. One is the music and the other is the lyrics. Now both these components actually carry a lot of emotion. It is not only the lyrics that contain emotion but the music itself the tune, the raga, that itself contains a lot of emotion, even if we are not using any words. Let's say I'm playing a raga on an instrument or let's say I'm singing it using an alapana. Even then, there are a lot of emotions that you can feel, right? In Carnatic music, we call it raga bhavam. So how do we develop this raga bhavam? Where does it come from? This comes from a very good understanding of how the gamakas work in every raga. Now usually when we are learning a Varnam or a Kriti, just repeating every line after the teacher is not going to help us in understanding the Raga. A good teacher will not only keep singing the lines, but she will also explain to you how each Gamakam works, how each note is getting connected to the next note, how does the voice modulation work, where do we need to use a mild Gamakam, where do we need to use a strong, elaborate Gamakam, where should we use a soft voice, where should we use a nice bold voice? When should we push the note? When should we pull the note? All these aspects actually contribute to Raga Bhavam or emotion of the Raga. So make sure that you're learning Ragas in this manner with a detailed understanding of each and every aspect. Because I see a lot of students who have learnt so many Varnams and so many Kritis. But when they sing, there is no Raga Bhavam. There is no expression. There is no emotion. It is very, very monotonous because they don't have clarity of how the Gamakams work. Every Raga is unique. You cannot take one standard formula and apply it to all the Ragas, right? So for every Raga that you learn, you need to have a fresh discussion about all of this. Next, we come to the lyrics. Now the lyrics also carry plenty of emotion. So first of all, we need to understand what is going on in the lyrics. We should know the meaning of the lyrics. If it is in our own language, then we will naturally understand it. But often in Carnatic music, we sing songs of different languages, right? So sometimes we may not know that language per se, but you have translations available all through the internet. So you can easily understand the gist of the composition. Even if you don't understand the grammar or the formation of the sentence, at least you know what is going on. You know what is the scenario. You know what's that emotion that's taking place, right? Emotions are not so simple. You cannot just generalize it by saying this is a happy song. This is a sad song. You cannot do that, right? Emotions are much more complex than that. So you need to know the gist of the lyrics so that you understand what scenario is in place so that you can feel that emotion when you sing. Now this topic of vocal expression or emotion, this is not something that can be taught in a classroom, right? This is something that you largely have to develop on your own by doing a lot of active listening, right? Each person has their own way of understanding emotion, right? So I cannot tell you that this is how you have to feel when you listen to one song. So you have to listen to it. You have to try and process how you feel. 
you have to observe how the artist is using certain modulations to convey certain expressions. So it's a very, very personal journey. So the most that a teacher can do is give you certain guidelines or give you certain tips on where to look. But ultimately, the rest of the work has to be done by you. Hope you enjoyed this video and will start observing all these aspects when you are listening to music and also when you are learning music. And if you want to get started with a proper learning journey where we are going to cover all this in detail and in a very, very interactive manner, then please join Vox Guru's live Carnatic curriculum. So this is a very systematic program right from grade 1 to grade 15. It is open to both children and adults. It is an online program, so you can attend it from anywhere across the globe. And uh, this is the best way for you to develop that complete understanding of each and every aspect of music. It is not only the notes, it is not only the ragas, but it is also all these nuances that I spoke about. Because this is what ultimately makes a difference between a good singer and a great singer. Okay, So if you want to get on that journey towards being a great singer, Please feel free to drop us a message. I have shared the link in the description. So just uh, click say hi and we'll get back to you with all the details of our program. We have a Carnatic curriculum and a voice culture curriculum. So both of them have very clear goals and based on your interests, we will be able to suggest which is the right course for you to join. So I'll be waiting to hear from you and also please explore the Vox Guru app which is available both on Android and iOS. So here you will find plenty of self-learning courses. So if you have been wondering when to start learning music, but you are hesitating for some reason, then this is the best way for you to start because it is as easy as a click of a button. So you have plenty of courses ranging from Carnatic music to Hindustani voice culture, ear training. And we also have a tiny tots course for three to six year olds. So whatever may be your age, wherever you may be on this globe, you can definitely start learning music right away. So I've shared the links to download the app as well. So I'll be waiting to hear from you. Take care.